Welcome back to the Every Trusted Channel. In today's class, I'm going to learn how to make this beautiful off shoulder blouse with a cut together sleeve. You can see the sleeve that we have here is cut together with the bodice, it's not cut out separately, so it just goes from the front to the back. For the back as well, it is cut together with the bodice. It's a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly. This is something you like to learn. Kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Okay, so. To do this, you can see I've already marked out my necessary points. This is my hammer line, this is my bust point, my under bust, and the waistline. This is my shoulder line, shoulder divided by two. And I took that same measurement on the hammer line so that I can have this straight line that I have. It's an half shoulder. But the sleeve is cut together, that's why I need my upper part as well, so that it can guide me on how to do this. So the first thing I'm going to do is to mark out my neckline. So you're going to note your neck depth, how deep you want this to be. Around 6 inches is fine for me, so I'm going to mark 6 inches here. So here on the, on the armhole line, I'm going to come down by two and a half inches, okay? Your shoulder stop is one inch, then one and a half plus that. So that's going to give me two and a half inches, and then I'm going to mark that here as well. So what you need to do is to connect from there to the neck depth so that you can have your neckline measurement. If you have a better curve, you can make use of it. So now we have our neckline. So the next thing now is to either work on the bustier or you just cut out your sleeve. So because the main tutorial in this is the sleeve, I'm going to work on the sleeve first before working on the bustier. So for the sleeve now, remember it's just a strap sleeve and it's going to be wrapped around your bicep. That's around the fullest part of the arm. So you're going to take the measurement there, okay? So for me, this is 10 inches, you can see. You take, don't make it too tight, you can see my one of my fingers is inside. So I have 10 inches here. So the 10 inches that I have there, I'm going to divide it into four. So we divide 10 inches into four. Excuse me, you're going to have two and a half inches. So two and a half inches that I have there is going to be the extension that I'm going to have for this sleeve. So now I'm going to, so that I can have something smooth and continuous. You can use some a straight ruler, but I don't want it too straight. So that's why I'm using, you can see this part is not so curved. It's still a bit straight, but it's not too straight. So that's what I'm going to use. And I'm going to be continuing what I have here by extending this by two and a half inches. Okay. So now I've extended this. I'm going to take my tape now. And mark where I have two and a half inches, which is here. So that is where I'm going to stop. So the next measurement that you are going to take is the width of the strap. That's your sleeve. That's like your sleeve length. How wide you want the strap of the sleeve to be. So between two to three inches is fine. So I think I'm just going to work with the same two and a half inches. And that is going to be the strap of my sleeve. Two and a half inches. That's how white the sleeve is going to be so now to connect to square this for a full sleeve the two and a half inches that i mark here i'm going to add half an inch to it to make it three inches whatever it is that you use there you had half an inch to it for it to make it three inches and that's what you are going to mark the three inches so once you have that three inches mark there you are going to connect everything together just like this And you can see now that we have our strap extended to this. So what I'm going to do to complete the hand hold is to take my bust measurement on the hand hold line. The bust measurement is 38. Divided by 4 is 9.5. So I'm going to mark 9.5 here. And then I'm going to have my seam allowance there. So after marking it from here to the hand hold line, you are going to take your curve ruler and then connect for your arm or curve so that you can continue your sleeve length so you can see what i have done there so after that now 
I'm going to go ahead and take my actual boss here that so here that's my boss pan four inches and I'm going to connect it up to where my neckline stops. So on the under bust area and the waistline I'm going to take my that I took one inch on both sides and then I'm going to connect like this. So with your curve driller I'm going to connect that to your bust point and then you do the same thing for the other side so you can see so to tighten this upper part here I'm going to take half an inch on both sides can do 0.75 as well and then again we are going to connect this to our post point measurement please use a better cuff you have half and my cuffs so now once you do that you're going to check that you have the same thing on both sides so that when you're joining it this is four and half on this side on this side is not up to four and half so i'm going to extend it to make it four and half inches that's because you need them to be the same when you are joining so that you won't have any shortage on that side so after doing this now the next thing is to work on your waist measurement so round waist measurement is 30 divided by 4 is seven and a half so i have seven and a half inches there you can see that i have already removed the dust that i'm taking out from this so that i don't have any shortage i'm going to add my seam allowance there as well and then i'm going to connect my bust to my waist okay so it is that simple that is what you need to do we'll go ahead now and cut this out okay so i forgot to mention that i have a difference of two inches from my front and back half length so i'm going to be taking that as my boss that so i have taken two inches from the boss point and then i'm going to connect that to the boss point like that so that is all i need to do before i go ahead to cut this so now before you cut you can decide to add your seam allowance before cutting or you add this when you are transferring this to your fabric whichever one you want to work with is fine so i'm just cutting out the pattern that i need this is the center front now I'll go ahead and cut the, the side front. So here I'm going to try to close the dart. So that I don't have any shortage. that you try to reconcile the side that you have drafted earlier so now I'm cutting that and then we are going to be cutting the sleeve together with the side front I have to be careful when doing this. So now we are taking away the dust that we have here as well. And then we are cutting off the waste that as well. So this is what I have now. I'm going to go ahead and close this bus that before I transfer it to my fabric. So this is the center front and this is the center back. So now I'll go ahead and cut out the side, the back. 
So for the back, you can see I've already drafted my back. This is the hamper line and this is the waistline. Okay. This here is the zipper allowance for the back. So this line here is the hammer line, just the same way we did for the front. So what I'm going to do now is to mark my neck depth, just like I did for the front. And the neck that I'm working for this is six inches as well. You want yours to be higher or lower, you work with it. So now I'm going to take my ruler and then mark the two and a half inches that I marked for the front as well and then i'm going to connect it so basically the same way you did the front you will do the same thing to the back as well or for the sleeve you can just pick the side that's the side that carries the sleeve for the front and then you're going to try to match it up you see this armhole line that i have here you can see these points where they meet this armhole line here and the vertical ample line so you can try to match that point together i can see this because the marker is very good okay so once you have it there what you need to do is to trace it out so you say i have it and you can see that the two and a half inches matches as well so once you have all of that what you are going to do is to go ahead and trace out the armhole pattern that's if you don't want to go through drafting a new one entirely so you just mark out what you have there and then you make sure to blend everything that is coming together here you don't want any parts to be too sharp so that is what we have there and to complete the hand hold for the back as well i'm going to take my first measurement and then add my seam allowance to it so after doing that, you grab your curve ruler and then you draw out your, your handful. So that is what we have there. So here again, I'm going to take my waist measurement, which is seven and a half inches plus seam allowance. And then I'm going to connect everything together. So that's how you need to do it if you want to tighten this part as well there's no problem you just increase your your center line that's your boss pan line and then you take the that's of quarter of an inch on both sides but i'm okay with what i have here so i'm going to go ahead and cut out this pattern so this is just with a straight that you can do a cut together off shoulder sleeve with your Princess that bust here as well. If you like a tutorial on that, let me know in the comment section. And then I'm going to film a tutorial on how you can do that with your princess that but that which is that's your humble princess that bust here and not a straight that like what we have here. So now I'm cutting this without allowance. So when I'm transferring to my fabric, I'm going to add necessary allowances that I'm going to need to it. Okay, so don't forget that. So now what I'm going to do next is to go ahead and cut this on my fabric. So this is what the back pattern looks like. And this is what the front pattern looks like with the cut together sleeve, so you can see. So now I'll take this to my fabric and then cut it out so i'm gonna have to cut it on my fabric you can see i'm using this akara fabric this is the back i have notched where my that is so i also cut out lining for all of them okay and then for the front i cut out my wording to pad the front so i'm going to go ahead and use my iron to stick the wording to the front both front center front and side front and then I'll bring you back so that we can show. I've gone ahead to stick the wording to it, as you can see. So what we need to do now is to take it to the sewing machine, and then we're going to join the darts together. That's for the front. So I'm going to do that for the lining and the main bodies. And then for the back, I'm going to hold my darts 
for both lining and knee fabric and then i'll bring it back to show us how to turn it so i've gone ahead to join it you can see the padding this is the wording inside so you iron it open and then you iron the outer part so that it can give you a good and firm bust space like this okay so this is our sleeve cut together so this is the lining i'm going to lay the lining on it and then i'll take the sewing machine i'm going to turn the neckline i'm going to turn the armhole remember there is no other sleeve attached to this so it has to be neat i'll turn the armhole area and then leave the shoulder this is where i'm going to join it to the back so i'm not going to turn that so i'll do that you turn your neckline and then the armhole area so we'll do the same thing for the back as well we're going to take it to the sewing machine i have sewn in the dart for the back as you can see so we're going to sew the neckline turn the neckline turn the handhold as well i'm going to turn the zipper area as well so i'll do this and then i'm going to bring this so that i can show you how to neatly turn the shoulder as well okay so i've joined i have sewn the neckline and then i notched it as you can see so that i can relax well. so you notch the handhold area as well so after all of that i'm going to turn it to the right side and then you iron it so you do this for both the front and back so that way you will see that your your blouse is neatly finished okay so after turning it now i are going to take the one that corresponds with either side and then you match the shoulder together right side facing right side as you can see so now you are going to dip your hand from this side towards the hammer either the front or back you can see what i'm doing and then from there you're going to bring out the shoulder see i've opened it up this is the back so from there i'm going to bring it out like this and then again i'll make sure that the Ankara is facing is matching with the Ankara right side facing right side and the lining is matching with the lining so you can see how I am arranging it so you have something flat like this this is the lining and this is the two Ankara so you go ahead and sew it so after sewing it and you flip you will see that it is neatly torn and then you're going to sew the sides so I'll do this and bring it back to show us all right okay so i have gone ahead to turn it you can see what the uh, shoulder area looks like you can see how clean it is this is the ham hole so it is also neatly finished i joined the side as well so you can see this is the front and these are the two back panels so what you just need to do now is to fix a zipper at the back and you are good to go so now i'm going to take this to the mannequin so that we can see what it looks like so this is what it looks like on the mannequin you can see how beautiful it is and you can see that the sleeve is continuous it is not attached to it so it just goes all the way to the back and this is what it looks like on the back as well so you just fix your zipper on your zipper allowance and you are good to go I hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me. If you enjoyed it, let us know in the comment section. And if you like a tutorial on the Hampo Princess that as well. Remember, this is a straight that that just goes to the shoulder. That goes towards the armhole area. Let me know in the comment section. I'll film a tutorial on that as well. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Okay.